What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and I'm coming at you today with a brand new game, a new review, and most importantly, a new segment for this show. That's right guys, I'm going to start a new segment called Win a Game. And what it's going to be is once a week, I'm going to upload one of these reviews that has Win a Game in the title. You watch the video, if the game looks interesting to you, all I ask you to do is to please hit that like button, definitely leave a comment in the section below, and if you want to, hit subscribe so you can find out if you're the winner whenever I put out the following video the next week. What'll happen is this, I'm gonna take all the people that comment, put it into a random number generator, and I'm going to choose a random person. I will then take that name, and when I upload the next win a game title, I'm gonna put the winner, and I will pin it at the top of the comment section. That's it, it's that simple. If the game looks like fun to you, definitely try out and throw your comment in the section below so you have a chance to win that game and get to play it as well. So moving on to today's title, what we've got here today is Zombie Blocks. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, Zombie Blocks looks like it was a made for mobile title. And it may be, I haven't actually checked yet, but whatever the case is, a lot of times mobile titles, which make, uh, they feel like they're just like a cash grab or they got the microtransactions or they, they limit how long you can play for. And all of that's really frustrating and it really takes a lot of the joy out of those games. But when they port those titles to PC, it changes the dynamic of the game. And something that was frustrating and limiting and felt greedy, then turns into something that's a lot of fun, brings you a lot of joy, you can play endlessly, you earn in-game currency, and the title can feel like a blast. So there is actually a lot of options here that you can mess around with. Not so much in the settings area here, you're, you're really limited there, and it's because the control scheme is really, really simplistic. Um, but what you could do is, is there's a lot of players to choose from, and you can see their level, their speed, and their weapon damage, and then the weapon that they use, and you can even upgrade said weapon. Okay, so you can go through here, and you can see that they all have... There's like 40 different characters that you can choose from. There's a lot of characters here to choose from. And you can use in-game cash or in-game um, gems to buy these characters. Now, with that out of the way, there is a timed mode and an endless mode. The timed mode is just that. You are timed. <laughs> and you've got to try to make it for as long as it says. So here we go. And the interesting thing about this title is this. You don't control your character. You put a little uh, marker on the map with your mouse. It's a single button game. Really, really, really simple. And you move around. And it's really important to watch your mini map in the upper left hand corner. And here we go. When you pick up a weapon, you just plow through the zombies. And we're about to run out here, so we're going to keep moving. Your mini-map will show you where all the enemies are. It will also sometimes show you where special... Um, oh boy, we've got raptors, and they are fast moving. Whoa, we are going to be in trouble here in a minute. Now the cool thing is too, is you can use environmental effects to destroy the zombies as well. There's one stage I was on where there was a train racing through the map. And if you could kind of kite the zombies up to the train, the train would wipe out tons and tons and tons of the zombies. Okay, so we've completed, take 120 steps. We've completed 35 kills. We need to use revive three times. So I'm out of revives right now. We are gonna go back home really quick. And this has gotta be made for mobile. It's gotta be. Over here on the left, you've got different quests and achievements that will earn you in-game currency. So you can see there's a lot of them there. I mean, holy cow, is there a lot of them there? Yeah, there's a ton. So, and then the achievements, they don't actually get you any in-game currency, but there's still achievements to be earned. So we're on day one right now, and then you can also see here, we got a reward for if we complete all of those three special quest lines. And then there's the endless mode as well. Um, one other thing I want to point out here, in the endless mode, there's no timer or anything, and you're just you're going for as long as you can. And you've got these special abilities on the right-hand side of the screen. Now, those special abilities do cost gems. And watch, I'm going to pull the zombies through the fire. You see them popping up there? I'm going to lead them around this... Oh, oh, there's a bomb up there. Come on, bomb. I don't, I can't make it. 
Uh, we just took out a ton of zombies, that tank, oh, and we got hit. Now, the one thing about this game that's a little bit, a little difficult, I'm going to hit revive here. Now, we've now completed those three, uh, those three challenges. So we'll actually pick up that 150 coins. One of the things that's a little tough here is you can't always tell, ah, the hit detection for the zombies versus your character. So I'm going to hit no thanks there. I'm going to save my, my gems. And uh, we're going to look to see if there's a character that we can unlock with those 10 gems. And also, remember, we completed those three. Yep, there we go. Completed day one. So let's go to select player. So you saw there when I was playing, I was able to grab that club. Now we can upgrade that club with the coinage that we've got. But let's see what other characters. That's 40 gems. This guy's a thousand coins and he's got a gun. I think that's pretty cool. This guy's got like a ray gun, but he's 20. So it looks like 20 to 40 gems. Yep, that was 20, 40. Flamethrower. Uh, this one's got a magical unicorn. Oh yeah, we're... Oh, we don't have enough for the magical unicorn. This guy's got a shotgun. A battle axe. That's pretty cool. A freaking dragon. <laughs> An A-10 warthog. Oh, man. And are you seeing, like, all the different... Like, there is a ton of different characters here. That's really awesome. That's, tw that's 20. <laughs> this one's got an armadillo. And now, one of the other things uh, that I've noticed is some of the control schemes are a little a little odd. This guy's got a tank. What? That's awesome. That's that's awesome. So I'm gonna go with a little uh, revolver dude. You know what? No, we're gonna go with the shotgun guy. Where you at, shotgun guy? I know I just saw you. Oh no 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 no. We're going with minigun guy. Yeah, we're going with minigun guy. Okay, so we got buzzkill. And here we go, going into endless mode. Oh boy. And this is my favorite stage. See the train there? It just took him out. And I don't mean to lunch. One of the things you could do is you could just stay on the track. Oh, we got a gem. And the longer you stay alive, special... Oh, oh, we got, we got a minigun. The longer you stay alive, um, special enemies will start to... Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. That is amazing. And we're out. So that one seems to burn out a little faster than the club. But you know what? That's okay. Whoa. That's okay. Because it's a minigun. So I I'm okay with that. Oh, oh, oh. So we got a bomber that came in there. Overcoming death. Four out of five times. Minigun. Minigun. Mini gun. Oh, and there's a boss. Oh, the boss is so close to dead. I like immobilized him. You know what we're gonna do? We're going Super Mario. We're doing it. Super Mario. Super grandmother Mario, because that looks like a grandma. I don't know if it's a grandma. I'm almost out. Oh no 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 no. Oh we're gonna revive again. <laughs> We're, we're doing it. I want to. I want to beat that mini gun. Mini gun. Where you at, boss? Where you at, boss? Where you at, boss? No! Oh, are you freaking kidding me? He's got like no health. Just none. I need a mini gun. Come on, guys. Help a survivor out. Don't. No. Mini. Mini gun. Ah! Takes eight gems. Oh, guys, I'm so... Yes, we're gonna do it. We're doing it. It's a bad idea. We're doing it. We're getting the... I think we, we beat the boss. There's another boss? So here's the problem with the bosses. Um, at least we're getting some massage, massive coinage this, uh, this playthrough. I'm gonna try to, like, really... Really, like, go far, far away here. And they are just spawning so quickly now. They're, like, literally on fire. Because they're moving so fast. I really could use a minigun here, guys. Please. Let me see that. You know how many zombies I could kill right now if I could just get a minigun? 
speeding up. No, 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 don't speed up. Don't, don't speed up. No, you guys, yes! Minigun! Oh, yes! So many sweet kills. And I got hit by a cop car. Woo! All right. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get into that at all. That was... That was no big deal. <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's really simplistic, but it's really fun. It's a few dollars on Steam. And uh, can you guys see what I'm talking about, about this seeming like a mobile title? Let me know in the comment section below if, if you agree that this looks like a mobile title. Or, you know, better yet, um, I'm sitting here making videos like crazy. Hop on your phone and see if it's a mobile title and, and let me know in the comment section below. I'd really, really appreciate you guys posting that. And I'll pin that. Whoever puts it in there if it is or is not if they verify I'll, I'll pin that comment up to the top of the video um, so that's it I mean it's endless mode it's timed mode <clears throat> excuse me there is controller support and I just want to point that out too um, but it's it's a little the controller support is is weird um, like for example I'm in here right now and I'm trying to move and nothing is is moving around so but it works in here and it works in here. You know what? I want to upgrade level two. I wonder if now it'll be it'll be longer. Now I'm not sure. I'm actually gonna try it out right here. Oh snap! So guess what? With the controller, it's a whole new game. Because you actually can control there's no more pinning the the flag to the map. What did I do? Oh no, I used an... I was not paying attention to the context keys, and I just totally uh, used a nuke for like five zombies. Okay, is there a jump button? Man, I wish there was a jump button. No, there's no, there's, there's no jump button. Oh, we're going for the bomb! We're going for it! We got it. We got it. So many sweet coins. Oh, we got another mini gun. What is up, y'all? Feel the wrath of my mini gun. So I actually can't tell if the timer has increased. It seems like it has. It seems like I got a little bit more time. They're already speeding up. Give me my gem. Give me my gem. There's a freaking tornado. Oh, I'm trapped, guys. Guys, I'm trapped. Nope. Just kidding. I, I got out. Why are they speeding up already? They're so fast. Yeah, come here, all you zombies. All y'all zombies. And zombie bosses, too. Mm-hmm. That, oh, another boss. Another gem. So, some things that I would like to see in this game um, that could really improve it. Because it's not all, it's not all sunshine and roses. Um... We need a good, we need a jam and soundtrack. Now, yes, you can totally put in your own soundtrack for this game. Like, that's, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything. But we need a jam and soundtrack. I mean, this is like really zombie slaying goodness here. And zombies are so played out. I'm so tired of zombies. But the nice thing about this game is it doesn't really focus on the zombies. I mean, you just, you just got hordes of, of little things chasing you around. It could be anything. It could be dinosaurs. It could be skeletons. It could be, you know, whatever. Um... This game has a lot of room for uh, potentially upgrading, modding, adding additions to it. I mean, how cool would it be to have different, have different enemies, different stages with different enemies? The, uh, the cowboy stage here, uh, you've got, you know, skeletons coming out of the grave. Um, the city level, keep it zombies. I don't know, that seems pretty classic. The, the prehistoric level, it, it's, all, it's all dinosaurs. They, they could do a lot with this. Like, this is really fun. The core gameplay here and the art style is really good. Um, I really like the... We just got, like, a major boost. That little green... Um, that little green flash symbol, the lightning symbol, that, that really sped us up. I'm doing pretty good here. Like, this, this round's going really well. I have to say, I kind of like the controller support better. Uh, it gives you a little bit more precise... Movement! No! Oh, well. Hey, we did really good. I pulled a lot of gems off that level and a lot of cold, hard cash. 
So I'm out. I'm okay with that. They are really going to town on me. Oh, and then when you die, yeah, it does. Oh. It's like, it's not over yet. And then it's like, boop, 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 And your little character takes out the last of the zombies. New best score for me. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, that's pretty much going to do it. That's the video. That is the game. It is a simplistic game. It is... There's a lot of room here for they, they could grow this title. I mean, they really could. They could add more stages. Like I said, they could add more enemy types. Um, I would like to see... They could add perks, like additional perks. Like there was a little lightning flash and whatnot, and that's cool. But they could add different perks to the game. Um, there's already a lot of stuff here. I'm going to switch back over to my mouse. There's already a lot of stuff here uh, to, to mess around with. I mean, I really like the achievement system here. Catching the train, 5,000 train kills. Like, there's lots of stuff. I didn't even look at these. Congratulations. Come back tomorrow for the next mission. Ah, so it is it's behind a time. I don't like that. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really I don't really care for that. I mean you can earn lots of in-game coin and gems without this, so these are just nice bonus um, objectives to complete. But man, I don't like when they time lock and time gate stuff, you know, especially coming off Star Wars Battlefront 2 where they time locked the uh, the arcade mode for earning in-game currency. It's just it's it's no bueno right now. It's you want to stay away from that. I didn't even mean to jump back in. You do get to see what you're going to be playing uh, too, like like whatever. Am I, is this going to hurt me? But will it hurt them? Oh, it hurts them. It hurts them bad. I love it. I love the variety here. It's just oh, it's so fun. And the the um, the voxel art style here is I just it's beautiful. I love it. I'm a big fan of voxel art. I think it's a lot of fun. I did that like. Uh, Superman or Monster uh, review a few days ago, maybe a week ago, and that was voxel art. I really liked that too. And that one had a lot of tweaks that you could do to the graphical settings to like, oh, 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 boom. I'm going for the gem. Look at the, oh, 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 did you just see the plane just take out like so many zombies? There's a minigun. Can I get it? Can I get it? I can get it. I can do this. I cannot do this. I can do this. I can't do this. It's gone. Oh, all that work for nothing. All that... 2.7 seconds worth of work for nothing. <laughs> oh, man. I could just sit here and keep playing this. I need to stop now because I'm just going to sit here and just keep you guys here. And you're going to get bored with watching me play this amazing game. But if you're getting bored with watching me play this amazing game, please make sure to like, leave a comment for sure. If nothing else, leave a comment. And then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to know when I uh, actually choose the person I'm giving this game to next week. And you could be playing this too. Your name could be on the leaderboard. Definitely higher than my name because I'm not that good. Oh, and I'm, and I'm done for. Okay. 58 gems. So many gems. I can unlock so many different characters. So my recommendations for this game, I would say, yep, go for it. I think it's $4.00. Sorry, don't quote me. I, I look at so many games. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to check right now on Steam. Okay, I was really close. $4.99. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it's $5 on Steam. Oh, there is music. I can actually hear the music in the background now. I had it turned down. I had it turned down too low. Um, I'd like to see more, um, like, special perks on the map that you could pick up. And kind of like Crimson Land, it's an older top-down title uh, where you fight like hordes and aliens. Um, I'd like to see more perks on the map. I would love to see some more variety in the enemy types. I think it's totally doable. I think these guys could do it. They clearly have the skills to bring that to the game. Uh, man, it would be great to have like mod support for this game, you know, like Steam Workshop, because people could make like little voxel characters and upload them and you could put them in the game and then you have different things chasing you around. That would be awesome. That would be so cool. I don't know how hard it is to implement that. I'm sure it's not easy, but um, but it's an awesome game. I love the level variety. I love the different characters, 40 different characters. I love the different achievements that you can get. I love the different uh, challenges. I'm not crazy about the daily challenge mode just because I don't like time-gated things that much. It kind of just bugs me, but that could just be a personal issue that I have. Um, you know, there's not a lot of settings. I definitely say control over mouse. Overall, fun title. This is the kind of thing to throw on if you just want to play for 10, you know, 10, 15 minutes. But it's something, if you're not careful, you can easily find yourself an hour, hour and a half later still playing because one match quickly leads into the next one, leads into the next one, and you will get better over time. I mean, I've gotten better just in the short time that I've been playing it. But guys, that's going to do it for this video today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. And until then, game on, everyone. Bye-bye.